for a company like Google which makes Android and it has their own zero day team it is pretty darn sad and disappointing and shameful for them to take five months to fix this Android lock screen bypass bug which when disclosed which when disclosed for the record was working on their flagship device which is the pixel 6 and the pixel 6 pro and who knows when they shipped this pixel 7 maybe this device was also vulnerable to this android lock screen exploit because this exploit has been fixed with the november 2022 patch but when your major sales pitch for android devices and for pixel phones is the monthly security updates you should be shameful that it took you five months to fix this bug which is a lock screen bypass and on your own website a lock screen bypass bounty is hundred thousand us dollars yet you were just sitting on your behind taking your own sweet time to fix this bug more about that later but first let us check out how this android lock screen bypass works and you do not need any fancy software all you need is access to the phone and a sim card whose puk code you know so here it is this is the google pixel 5 right now i am running android 13 beta on my device security patches from august now what i'm going to do next is i am going to use an unregistered fingerprint it is telling me fingerprint not recognized too many attempts try again later then i'm going to go to the pin screen and herein i am going to enter the incorrect pin a few times to be exact i will enter the incorrect pin five times after which it is going to lock me out of my device for 30 seconds now once this happens i am going to select ok over here and then all the attacker has to do is remove the sim and then use their own sim so here it is we removed the sim and now we are going to enter the sim one more time and this sim has a pin code setup so to access or to activate this sim on this specific device or for that matter any device you need to enter the correct pin but we are going to enter the incorrect pin over here as well and we are going to do it three times once you do that it is going to ask you for the puk code to continue now the puk code either you can get it from your carrier or in certain cases it is also on the back of the big sim card plastic thing which you get from wherein you remove your micro sim card or mini sim card that is where you have the puk code so important thing to note over here that this is the attacker's sim so he has the puk code now once you have entered the correct puk code you will tap on next and it is going to ask you to put in the new pin which you want to set up for your sim and you have to do that twice now once you do that you are in the device bam there it is you just saw what happened i am inside the device and i can do anything over here if i go into settings and security you will see that the pin is still there the fingerprint is also there but i got access to this device just by swapping out a sim using my own sim and I know the PUK code for this sim. That is it. Easy peasy, less than a minute's job. Google should be ashamed of themselves that it took them five months to fix this Android lock screen bypass. Now, now that I have shown you this Android lock screen bypass, let us rant out a little bit about Google. So if you have the time do read the original post which is linked in the description of this video but long story short it took google 150 days to fix this bug after it was disclosed initially there was radio silence for like 30 days 
then the person who found this android lock screen bypass contacted them again they told him it was a duplicate issue and then eventually the person like presented this to google live i think somewhere and then they had to set up a deadline that if you do not fix this by october 15th i am going to put it out in the public that is what it took for google to light up a fire in their behind and then fix this bug with the november 2022 security patch but 150 days is like five months it takes you five months to fix this super critical bug which has a us hundred thousand dollar bounty on your own google website you should be ashamed of yourself google you should be seriously ashamed of yourself and your security patches the monthly security patches are just useless if a super high critical bug like this android lock screen bypass anybody can access your data if it takes you 150 days to fix that then your monthly security patches are useless i'm just like super shocked and at the same time super worried that in those five months how many people would have known about this bug and were they using this pretty sure those who know about this bug before it was fixed they would have sold it in the black market for like millions of dollars because that is what happens these kind of bugs especially lock screen bypasses and this one is like it doesn't even require any special software or any special hardware just a sim card for which you know the puk code that is it now what will happen with this bug is your pixel 8 and most android oems now are gonna switch over to eSIM just like apple did but again pretty shameful to see it took google five months to fix this android lock screen bypass affecting their flagship devices the pixel 6 and the pixel 6 pro